Okay, so we're going to talk about a new type of isomer besides conformational isomers and cis and trans isomers, right? So another type of stereoisomer is the isomer that contain asymmetric centers. What are they? Let's talk about in detail, okay? And one question to you, let's say if you uh, go to a classroom, let's say if you attend an in-class person, can you find, just look at this picture, right? Can you find um, any objects in a classroom that have sides? You were like, what do you mean by that? That I don't get it. I'll give you some example. Let's say if you go to an in-person classroom, you probably have seen shoes, shoes, half side, left, uh, left side shoe, and a right side shoe. What else can have side in the classroom? Um, it could be a door, left-handed door, and a right-handed door, right? Uh, what else? Uh, a projector, right? You can see um, the with the lens uh, could be on the left side, could be on the on the right side, right? And another good example: um, a chair. We have the let's just look at the armrest. We have arm armrest on the on the left side and on the right side. These objects can have side, your phone, actually your phone can have side too. If you look at a camera right here, I'm not sure you can see that. Uh, the camera could be on the right side, some phone, I don't think some, any iPhone have the camera on the left side, do they? Probably not, right? But I mean, that's my point, right? Some object can have side and others don't have side. For example, we have an eraser, we have a marker, uh, what's it called, this thing, uh, an office lamp, uh, a blackboard. This guy don't have sides. How come though? Well, uh, yeah, this, but that's my point though. Yeah, some also have side, some uh, others don't. Uh, if you go back in time, once upon a time before um, Instagram has been invented, <laughs> uh, the Greek philosopher recognized that uh, some of the have side and others don't, just like hand, right? We have left hand, we have right hand. This thing have side, right? This object have side. So this Greek philosopher uh, recognized this property and call it Chirality, okay, chiral, no, chirality, or no, handedness, that's a translation. Chi um, comes from the Greek term here, mean hand. Some, some, uh, some object like hand have chi uh, chirality, okay, and others don't. All right, let's go to the next video. We're gonna uh, elaborate uh, this, uh, this term, chir uh, chirality, okay?